Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you learn how to alter units of measurement or UOMs in Tally Prime. You may want to alter a unit of measurement or UOM in many scenarios. You may want to use a different symbol for the unit in alignment with the symbols used by your customers. Or you may also want to alter the number of decimal places in the UOM either for precise calculation or your customer may want the entries to be with a specific number of decimal places. Before you alter a unit, we recommend you to take a backup of the company data. It will ensure that you can restore the company data whenever you need to revert the alteration. Moreover, in one or more transactions, if you have used a stock item with the UOM or a compound unit containing the UOM, then you will not be able to alter the UOM. Now, let us see how unit alteration works in Tally Prime. Let's open a simple unit. Go to Alter, then Unit. Type or select the unit that you want to alter and press Enter. As you can see, there are five rows in the unit alteration screen. At any point in time, you will not be able to alter the type for a unit. It is important that you decide the type at the time of creating the unit in Tally Prime. You can change the symbol and formal name whenever needed. Under number of decimal places, you will not be able to decrease the number if one or more stock items with the unit of measurement is used in a transaction, one or more stock items are linked to the unit of measurement. This restriction is enabled because decreasing the number of decimal places impacts your inventory accounting and also the calculation of amount in the invoices. The alteration may hamper the returns and other statutory aspects too. Let's try to decrease the number of decimal places to understand the scenarios better. Create a unit in Tally Prime. Provide number of decimal places as 3. Now, press Ctrl A to save. At this moment, we do not have any transaction or stock item linked to this unit. Open the unit in alteration mode. Let's decrease the number of decimal places from 3 to 2. As you can see, Tally Prime allows it. Now, let's say there is a stock item linked to a unit of measurement. Open the unit in alteration mode and decrease the number of decimal places. As you can see, Tally Prime shows an error. However, Tally Prime will allow you to increase the number of decimal places at any point in time. Let us see how it works. Open the unit in alteration mode and increase the number of decimal places from 3 to 4. It is important to note that Tally Prime allows the number of decimal places only up to 4. If you provide the number of decimal places beyond 4, then Tally Prime will show an error. Under UQC or say Unit Quantity Code, select the appropriate UQC from the list. So you now know all the factors to be considered before altering a UOM in Tally Prime, the scenarios that affect the process of UOM alteration and how to alter a UOM in a matter of seconds. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com.